Welcome back to Flowworks and as I pointed out in last week's video you're going to be seeing a few videos coming up with me creating some abstract art in Procreate. This is going to be the quickest and easiest way for me to create some content for you to watch at home and to get some ideas on how to still create some contemporary modern pieces of art. For those of you that have subscribed to my channel to watch me do actual physical paintings that will be coming back at some point. It will just be after we've moved house and location and everything. So just to recap, this was last week's painting. So this was created last week. I took a digital photo of Monty on the camera and then we took the photo into Procreate and I made it come alive by creating sort of different textures, picking up on some of his features, just like around his eye. He's got some really long eyelashes. So I really wanted to make them really jump out. And he's got some lovely markings around his nose in this sort of fur color. So yeah, it's just a case of picking up on those different features of your animal and sort of bringing them alive. But yeah, this is going to be printed out and mounted onto a canvas and this is going to be going in the new home. Just going back to the gallery, I created this painting the other day. I was just sitting in front of the telly and I just started building up on all these different layers, come up with a sky and a different sort of foreground and background, added in some distant mountains. But yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. So today I want to create an abstract painting and I want to go away from everything that I've done recently is square. So I want to do sort of a long piece. And this canvas size is 300 millimeters by 500 millimeters. And it's at 300 DPI. It's good enough to be able to print out at the end of it. So we're going to sort of make it up as we go along. And we're just going to go into our brush sets. I have downloaded some brushes that I will be using. And they were downloaded from a website called Invato Elements that I've got a subscription to. And some of the brushes that I use quite a bit are the artist, the artist oil paint ones. And there's two in there. There's a bristle smear and there's a impasto bristle as well. These two brushes I, I really do like. So just like how I sort of start a normal painting, I'm going to pick up on, you can move this color wheel about, but yeah, I'm going to pick up on this sort of color, a nice big brush. And I'm just going to add in just a bit of a background in there. You will find your brushes will vary in size dependent on your canvas that you create as well. If you create a small canvas, this brush is going to be massive. If you create a large canvas, then obviously the brush isn't going to be that big. So yeah, for those of you who haven't picked up an iPad Pro, they are absolutely amazing, especially with Procreate and the Apple Pencil as well. You can just get lost hours on end just sort of creating different paintings. So I'm just sort of scribbling in a, in a bit of a background. I'm just going to take the opacity down a bit. I'm still on the same layer. This is all on one layer for the minute. I'm just sort of building up a bit of a, a background here. Just adjusted this camera up here so you can actually see the color going on because the <coughs> this camera is a little bit too bright so you couldn't actually see the layers that were going on so so yeah we're just going in and I'm just adding in different levels of texture over the top just with the one brush maybe there's a lighter element going on in here. Okay, we're going to go a new layer. And we're going to chuck in some deep color. So what we're going to do is on that new layer, we're going to click on the selection tool and just with freehand, I'm just going to create some kind of shape that I want to get in there. And because I selected a color, it's filled it in 
on that color as well. So we're just gonna do another new layer on top of that and I'm gonna use the same freehand selection tool. So this is quite similar to sort of how I would paint and then that will put that selection in there of that color. So yeah, now we've got two layers with those colors going on in there. So it's a real quick way of sort of adding in a big block of color and then we can manipulate these colors and sort of play about with them. I'm gonna create a new layer over the top of this one. So we've got our two layers there. We can just sort of show you them turning them on and off. And then what we're gonna do is if we click on the layer, we can do a thing called an alpha lock. So if we click on that and click off the layers, that allows us to then, within this layer, if we pick a brush with a color and I brush in this layer, it will keep that color within that layer. So it's a real quick and easy way to add color into some kind of shape that we've created. So I'm gonna add some color in here with the same brush. But yeah, the beauty of, of this is, it's just allowing this color to be inside that shape that I've created. So I'm just adding in some detail in there. And then I'm gonna do the same again on the other layout. Now for lock. I'm just gonna change the color in this slightly. Turn that alpha lock back off now. I'm going to get the smudge tool and we're going to use artistic oil paints and textured glaze. I can now pick up on the layer and smudge this up. up on certain points that I don't want to be as sharp and I'm just blending that in with the background. And you can take the opacity up. You can also play about with the brushes as well on the smudge tool. just manipulating those colors a bit and I'm probably going to do the same again on this layer as well so it's a real quick and easy way to blend those colors into one another. Okay, we're just gonna go in with another layer, bring that to the top. I'm just gonna pick up on that blue. If you click and hold, it will pick up on the color. So we're gonna pick up on that color. And I just wanna add some elements of that color in, in here. Also add a bit of a bit more of the same sort of tone, but just get a bit darker in some places as well. It just adds in just that little bit more depth into the piece. OK, 
Okay, another layer, and we're just gonna go a little bit darker. So I'm still only using the same two brushes. So we've gone for another layer there. I'm just gonna change the brush. It was on uh, this one, we're gonna change it to this. Okay, and then when it's smudge tool, I just want to try and blend in some of that paint that I just added in. Okay, it's starting to look nice. I just want to play about with the background a bit more. I'm not too happy with the mark making on the background so I'm going to try and just blend that a bit and let's try using the airbrush with a, a, a soft blend, nice and big. That's just softening up that background a little bit. Sometimes these brushes, they can look quite fake, like digitally fake. Okay, that's a bit better. I'm just gonna add another layer on top of that, so near the bottom. And just wanna get some orange in there to add a little bit of warmth into it. Don't worry if the colour's a little bit harsh to start with, we can adapt to that in a minute. I just want to just add in a little bit of a little bit of warmth into it. And just gonna blend some of that orange in. Yeah, so if you're not happy with a color, you can click on the adjustments tab up here and go to hue and saturation, and you can change this color wheel and see where you're sort of happy. I wanted to add a little bit of warmth into it, but you can then knock down the saturation and then also play about with the brightness as well. So I didn't want it to be too harsh. I think there's pretty cool. I'm just gonna add a bit of a brush effect in the rubber tool, in the eraser tool, over the top of that layer. So I can ping, ping the brush up a bit. And then if I just click and tap, That's taken away that paint, so it's really subtle. So I started off with something really harsh and now I'm really sort of knocking it back and trying to create it as one painting. Okay, we're gonna go in with a new layer, but I want the layer above everything, so I'll click the top layer, new layer, and we're gonna go in with pretty much white. I'm gonna Take this over to the turquoisey whitey colour. And we're gonna go in with a brush. Let's try the impasto rake as well. So we're gonna take the brush, that's what it looks like. So it's a nice big type of marking. 
I'm going to take it down a bit and I just want to rake in These markings can be anything, they could be a squiggle that goes up, squiggle that goes down, and then also play about with uh, different tones of it as well. I'm still on the same layer, but wherever I've been squiggling I'm just adding a slightly different tone of colour as well. I just want to fix one of these layers here yeah this layer here this blue I just want to muck about with blending this in a little bit better so back to the artist brushes click on textured glaze I'm not mucking about with it too much, I'm just blending in certain areas. What you can do as well, if you create a layer, you can also muck about <clears throat> with the different layer settings. So this is normal, but you can click on lighten and you can go through them screen to make it lighter, color dodge, add, overlay, hard light. So you can muck about with all these different overlays and the layers until you see what one that sort of sits quite nice. See, so sometimes color dodge will do some really funky stuff with the paint that's sitting behind it. We're just going to keep that on normal for the minute and I'm just going to muck about with the colour of that. So I've decided to make that white and then I, and then with that rake tool I'm just going to rake that white about a little bit further. Okay, we're just going to add another layer at the very top, flat bristle brush, quite small and I'm just going to just mark in from left to right over this bottom section. And do that again in light colour as well. Just 
taking the brush size right down in size. I'm just going to play about all the colours on that layer. Okay, I've gone for the linear light. Now I'm just taking away some of that in some places. Okay, there is this week's Wednesday's works, digital abstract art. As I say, it's really, really addictive to go in, sort of add the layers over the top, playing about with the colors and getting that overall look of your composition. So just because we can, I'm gonna add another layer and we're gonna sign this one. Now when I sign my digital art, I use a lettering brush and that allows you to create some really nice signatures, basically, they're like quite realistic. Obviously we're not going to do it that big, but you can literally do it this big. Select your layer, reduce it, position it to where you want it. Give it a little artistic rotation. And there you have it as a signed digital piece of art. Okay, I can do one last touch on this. So one new layer and we're just going to go in white and uh, I'm going to add in some text. We're going to call this one Digital City. Let's go for it. So there you go, Digital City. And I'm just going to make that big. Position it to where I want. And you can even muck about with the um, layer opacity on this as well, which is pretty cool sometimes. But yeah, I'm going to stick that on uh, as one that made it thinner, which is a lighten. With my digital star, I do like adding wording into it, but it's quite abstract, so you have to sort of work out what it reads. But yeah, this one, as I say, is called Digital City, and it's in there. As I say, I'm going to be doing a series of digital pieces of art. I hope you like this one. This was called Digital City. So if you're into your abstract art as much as me, please subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification, because yeah, every single Wednesday I create a new piece of art, and whether that be digital or a real life painting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this one a thumbs up if you like this painting that I've created. Have a great week, and YouTube is suggesting your next video to watch right here.